Rumors of the name of the future Moto X begin, aside from leather options. Google's Android TV gets leaked and shows us its new UI, and not even Apple seems to like its own ads lately as Phil Schiller explodes. I'm Jaime Rivera, and probably my Monday resolution is not to complain about Mondays until the day is over. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official as what did you guys expect? I mean, we've got Google's Android in the vehicle and we've got Apple's CarPlay, so Microsoft had to take a stab at something. And we do know that there is Fort Sync, which is made by Microsoft, but the company has just demoed this new Windows in the car. Well, it was actually Windows Phone in the car. It's more like CarPlay. You need a Windows Phone to actually get this to work, but even funnier is the fact that at some point this service did crash in the demo and it did reveal a full version version of Windows happening on the dashboard and not really on the phone, so it's really hard to predict exactly what Microsoft plans to do with this concept that they just revealed today. Again, there's an option for applications, for different things that'll probably come in the service, though obviously it sounded more like a way to generate buzz than something that they really had ready for mainstream. Now let's talk about the Moto X, the phone that almost every reviewer likes but that the market doesn't seem to like as much. And well, apparently we've got some new rumors of what to expect from the 2014 version of the Moto X. And apparently it starts with a new name. It's apparently going to be called the Moto X Plus One. Uh, not X1, X2, apparently it's X plus one, and even though that does sound ridiculous, probably one of the coolest things is that apparently Moto Maker will continue and it will bring you a leather option, which will definitely be cool, but stay tuned. You never know what Motorola, now being part of Lenovo, could bring. Now let's talk about Samsung and its Gear lineup as one very interesting leak from Korea shows us a Samsung Gear Solo. And the reason why it's called Solo is because apparently there is a SIM card tray in there for you to make this a standalone smartwatch that does not need a smartphone. And yeah, it was a cool idea to have a speakerphone in your wrist. I mean, why not if it'll cost you enough for you to be able to, you know, use the service. But still, we don't really see this becoming a mainstream, though, hey, probably Samsung could figure it out. Let's just see how that battery life is. But again, these are just rumors. Apparently this will happen in the next couple of weeks. It's pretty much a gear two with a SIM card tray. Let's see how that goes. Now let's talk about Google as we do know that there is this Amazon Fire TV that was just announced lately and we have the rumors of Apple's future Apple TV. But apparently Google is bringing us Android TV, which runs on Android, runs Android applications, but has a very different UI. Now the question is exactly what is it running on because apparently it should run on the Chromecast, but we don't exactly know if this is going to be a new bigger box with more features or if it's the same Chromecast or exactly how is Google planning to align this with their current products. It's a, again, really interesting to see what's coming from the company, though, again, the leaked sources are quite credible. So this will happen. The UI is cool, but it looks like the Apple TV. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, this whole thing about Apple versus Samsung poises a very interesting opportunity to see documents that you wouldn't rather see between companies companies because they are part of the trial. And uh, we've got these emails between Phil Schiller and his ad agency, and he's complaining about the fact that he doesn't like the iPhone ads lately, especially when compared to Samsung's ads, because the Wall Street Journal had this article saying that Apple was losing its cool against Samsung when it came to advertisement, and they're kind of right. But, you know, it's really interesting to see that Schiller was completely shocked at the ad agency asking for more liberties because Apple wants to continue doing what they've been doing for 30 years. But Anyways, that leads you to the question of the day. Uh, do you really find Samsung's ads to be cool lately when compared to anything else? Because in my particular case, I do agree. Like for example, the Samsung Galaxy Gear ads were great for a very terrible product, uh, which just proves, you know, just how cool the ads are. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.